hello everyone today in this video we will be discussing some questions which are also called as gems of the module because in every module there will be some questions which are repeated a lot number of times and those you can never miss at any cost so if you want to know those, uh, those questions you watch this video till the end and the uh, whole module is divided into two parts i mean the whole subject is divided into two parts the first part is the one sec first second and third module and the second is the fourth and the fifth module okay so in the fourth and the fifth module it's completely theory and it can uh, fetch you 30 marks and the rest will be divided into two parts the theory part and the numerical part in the numerical part there are very important numericals so if you have time you can practice those numericals so i'll give you the uh, questions which you need to practice so we'll be looking that in a separate video but in this video i'm just giving you a brief overview of what you need to focus upon in the theory part you can score 50 marks at max and here you can score 20 marks so if you only study the theory still you can fetch at least near 80 marks and the uh, numericals will be around 20 marks okay so this is the uh, overall structure of the cg and let me tell you what are the important uh, concepts you need to focus upon from each module okay so here i have written uh, many concepts so i'll be telling you which is the most important one okay so in the module one this is the common sense question what is computer graphics explain the applications of computer graphics if you already know what is happening in the world you can easily write these answers by your own words right so it is uh, not um uh, topic which you need to focus much upon and this very repeated uh, concept it's asked many times in the 1a or 2a okay it's very much repeated topic so you can uh, uh, never miss this topic in the exam okay next is the uh, the most important topic of this module or also known as the gem of this module is the raster scan display in this unit what you need to do is the draw the diagram label its components and uh, write its working principle write its applications and if you if you can uh, if you have time write the advantage and disadvantage this can fetch you more uh, one or two extra marks okay so this is the uh, important topic why because uh, it's based on the crt which is cathode uh, refresh tube sometimes they can ask like or define what is uh, cathode refresh uh, tube and the applications of uh, cathode refresh tube are raster scan and random scan okay random scan is also asked but if it's asked like 20 percent of the time this is asked 80 percent of the time or they can ask cathode uh, refresh tube in the in that you just have to uh, display the diagram and the labeling components okay you need not explain the working principle and applications so this is the most important topic from uh, module one let's move on to the uh, uh, last topic so if you have done with the first two topics which i mentioned then you have to uh, do this one open gl structure and function this is also very much repeated topic here you have to write the syntax library header files various init functions point and line functions and primitive and attribute functions so how do you remember this that i've explained in the theory video that's all what is in the module one you can go through it and you can easily get 20 marks from here okay then uh, moving on we have the uh, second module in second module the uh, main concept is the polygons in polygons only you can find many things the second is the 2d transformations in polygons the most important one is the identification of interior and exterior area of a polygon this is also uh, like uh, in this uh, module there are two to three gems the first gem is this one interior and exterior area of a polygon and the next gem is the 2d transformation functions in this numericals also the numericals i'll discuss at the end of this video but the theory part i'm discussing in the theory part what you have is the 2d geometric transformations you need to know what are these transformations mean the equations and the matrix values for each of these you cannot uh, you cannot miss any of this okay in fact there are many uh, other uh, transformation but these are the most important ones okay so you can never miss this one then the, we have the other 2d transformation here we have both the numerical as well as the theory numerical i discussed at the uh, later part of this video theory of these two you have to know as well as the equations i mean the matrix equations that's all what is then in the module 2 moving on to the module 3 we have like uh, module 3 is mostly the uh, numerical concept so the theory parts are just two and these are the most repeated ones light uh, points or so, uh, light uh, point sources here we have three and basic elimination models also we have three so now what are those uh, six um concept and uh, definition and the explanation of each of these okay so if this question come you can easily fit seven marks okay and you cannot lose any marks in rgb and cmy there are some differences there is a table i'll share you with the uh, solutions part where you have to learn from in the separate video in this video i'm telling that uh, this is the important concept if you get the answer from somewhere make sure you start the uh, learning from now itself okay and coming to module 4 we have the transformation from world to viewing coordinates this is present in module 1 as well as 2 so if you study from module 4 easily you can attempt for 1 and 2 as well so this very important concept but it's not asked for much marks it's asked for four marks only okay but you can easily fetch without uh, spending much time uh, in this the gem of this module is the orthogonal and perspective projection eight marks question most important most repeated one here we have some matrix values and some concepts those you have to memorize very well then we have the depth buffer algorithm this is also very much repeated concept it's asked for seven marks and uh, here we have an algorithm which is uh, hardly half page and here you can uh, write the algorithm write some equations and explain regarding uh, what is that thing okay 
then coming to the last module fifth module the gem of this module is this one the mouse functions and uh, along with that sometimes keyboard functions and window events as well okay and the remaining concepts are double buffering menu and selection these are equally important and various physical logical input devices module 4 and 5 theory you are not supposed to miss uh, any mark in that because theory is very easy you can just remember the concepts and write it explain it neatly in your own words okay a detailed analysis of the uh, solutions I will be released at later part of this video and the gem of this uh, module is the bizarre curves in bizarre curves this is the most important most expected and repeated concept here you have to make sure with these things at least at 10 times and keep it in your mind never ever miss this topic uh, in fact from the whole subject this is the most important uh, concept okay so here we have the definition diagram and types of bizarre curve derivation regarding that and graphs and equations also there are uh, numericals in that but the numericals have not been asked in the previous papers so I have not included that okay and uh, this is the uh, second topic which is the bizarre curves uh, applications so here also we will be having some um, diagrams and equations so if you get time if you are done with the above topics you can go for this one then coming to the numericals and algorithm the four important ones are these four DDA line and circle Bresenheim circle algorithm general polygon scan line fill 2d transformations reflection and shear 3 transformation is there the numericals are there but they have not been asked in the previous papers so I have not included that here coins with the land or polygon any of these you have to memorize if you study this much it's uh, more than enough for you to score at least 40 marks and at max uh, 60 marks okay and along with that if you study numericals also you can expect around 80 marks okay so that's all for this video and i will be releasing a, a video in which there will be detailed analysis of the uh, answers and the key points you have to remember so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that i can make more videos like this i'll get the motivation for that and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one